why I call TB Joshua a wizard. Pastor Okotie reveals in tears. Pastor of the Household of God Church International Ministries, Chris Okotie has explained why he called the late founder of the synagogue a wizard. Pastor of the Household of God Church International Ministry, Chris Okotie has explained why he called the late founder of the synagogue church of all nations, Temitokwe Balogo Joshua, the wizard at Endor. Okoti, in a 1 hour and 15 minute long video posted on YouTube via Spokunpiso, said that he referred to the late TB Joshua as the wizard at Endor because his church was allegedly synonymous with Endor, where people look for temporary solution to eternal problems. He said, why did I call Joshua the wizard of Endor? I must find a pattern in the scripture that corroborates what I am going to say because if I just come and say that Joshua is not a true man of God and all of that, it doesn't follow any pattern in the scripture and therefore it has no spiritual significance. I must find a pattern that represent what it is and I found it in Samuel first Samuel in the 28th chapter which Saul went to the witch at Endor that is why I call him the wizard of Endor the fake church the counterfeit church where people go like King Saul out of desperation they are not interested in knowing Jesus and him crucified. They are not interested in doctrines. They are not interested in all that pertains to life and godliness. They are looking for temporary solution to eternal problems. Immediate gratifications. That is why the place is an endo and he has this superintendent of that place is the wizard at endo. Also, in a follow-up statement, Okotie warned those he referred to as fake prophets against God's vengeance. The statement was titled, Judgment Coming Against Nigerian Enemy, by Okotie in latest TV Joshua's video. It partly reads, I have also promulgated the decree of Almighty God in his final warning to religious charlatans false prophets, false prophetesses, and self-styled ministers of the gospel. The day of the vengeance of our God has fully come to Nigeria. We are about to witness the greatest divine judgment upon those who have become enemies of the church and our nation. TV Joshua, who was born on June 12, 1963, had planned to celebrate his 58th birthday on June 12, 2021 before he died on June 5, 2021. The 51, 7-year-old prophet was later buried on the premises of his church in Lagos in presence of his widow, Evelyn, his children, family members, and other loved ones. Joshua hails from Arigidi Akoku in Ondo State and founded the synagogue church in 1987. The church which has its headquarters in Lagos accommodates over 15,000 worshippers Gada. The church currently has branches in Ghana, the United Kingdom, South Africa, and Greece. Joshua was one of the richest and philanthropic pastors in Nigeria and was estimated to be worth over $15 million in 2011, according to Forbes. Many contemporary pastors in Nigeria disagree with some of his beliefs and ways. Upon his death, the church chose his widow. Evelyn to take over from him. See, my dear viewers, if you must listen to me, you will understand that it's not all about church anymore. Do you understand? It's not all about church. I was listening to a friend today. I was, I, 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 I just spoke to that friend. I said, look. You know, you don't believe much in spiritual things. And he said, spiritual things? 
spiritual things, you say spiritual things, as in, I hardly believe in any man of God again because they no longer speak the truth. Oh my God. Look at this reward. They no longer speak the truth. The attitude of our men of God nowadays is now pulling people out of church. And the scripture is so much against it. The scripture said that we should gather. We should gather so that he can come and dwell. So that he can come and be with us. He said, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. Okay, if we don't gather, if we don't gather, how do we, uh, how, how, how do we uh, uh, now feel the presence of God? How do we feel the presence of God? It is crazy. You understand? It is crazy. So let us try all, all, all we can and let us try to, um, to understand the situation so that whatever we get from God can be very, very clear to us. TPM, um, Okoti, I will tell you that you've not spoken well with this message of yours. You've spoken like a critic. You're a man of God, but you've just spoken like an ordinary person. You didn't speak like a spiritual man. You didn't speak like someone who is called by the Spirit. You just spoke like an ordinary man. It is wrong. Even if you know that this person is this kind of person, why then will you still speak ill and evil of the person? Forget TV Joshua. I used to tell people that leave TV Joshua alone. He is gone. He is gone. Let him go and face his judgment. You pastors are the ones that have said that we should not judge, but left now you people are not are not the one judging. You're not the one judging. It is crazy. It's crazy. Oh my God! See, my dear viewers, we are no longer the, the, the church of God is no longer doing what God has called him to do. They are not doing the other way around. They are now doing things that are not in, uh, in, 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 in uh, that are not right. It's not okay at all. You understand? So let us be upright anyway. All right, let me hear from you, my dear viewers in the house. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.